Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the afternoon. 15 rounds of boxing for the WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Youngstown, Ohio, support from Montebello, California and environs and certainly many Californians here in the Vegas area and Ray Mancini with supporters here from Youngstown, Ohio as we see the tail of the tape. 21-year-old Ray Mancini weighed in right at the limit 135 at the weigh-in last evening. Prius 134 and a quarter. They are just about the same height as you can see. And a little bit of a nick on the nose of the champion, Art Frias, if you wondered about it in the uh, interview and thereafter. It uh, occurred last week in training, last Sunday. Uh, it's not considered serious. The commission doctor, Donald Romeo, checked it out, said it should not be a problem. And uh, there's a look at the uh, nose and the slight cut high on the bridge of the nose. And, of course, as you can see, and as Art well knows, uh, he has a rather prominent proboscis. And uh, so he expects to get hit there, but it is not considered to be any kind of a problem. We're ready to go with the referee, Richard Green of Las Vegas. The scoring by three judges at ringside. Chuck Minker, Dwayne Ford, and Lou Tabot, all from Las Vegas. WBA rules on the 10-point scoring system. Mancini in red trunks. The champion, Frias, in black trunks. Uh, Tim, Alexis Aguayo said that the only chance that Art Frias has is to box Mancini. Now, we know that's not his style. Let's see if he does try to change the box. It doesn't look like it from now. Good left hand by Frias. Staggered Mancini. Mancini getting his balance back and now comes back with a two-fisted attack. And while we watched Frias practice boxing all week in training, we had the feeling he'd be out there in his club style once the bell went, and that's what's happened. A slugfest in the opening round. And the best punch is so far landed by the champion, Prius. He certainly hurt uh, Ray with that early, early punch, Tim. He shook him up pretty good. Lands a good solid left jab, but Mancini staying right there with him. In this fight, Tim, I believe Art Prius is gonna, gonna use that right hand as much as possible. He's gonna overwork the right hand. You watched him in training, he was going nice and straight. He did work on boxing, he did work on defense along the ropes, but he has had no occasion to use it early on here. He's just been right out there, as he said, two pit bulls would be the way this fight would be. He said they advertised my fight against Espana as the matador and the bull. He said today it's just two bulls in there. And they are at it. Freya for the good combination of the face of Mancini. There is blood from that cut under the left eye of Frias, the cut he suffered in the title defense against Ernesto Espana that indeed stopped that fight with Frias winning on a technical decision because he was ahead on the cards. It took 15 stitches to close that gash. It is under the eye. Gil, what's your opinion of it? Well, we don't like to see anybody get cut, Tim, but it's not in, a, in a, any place that would endanger his vision at all. His vision. He'll be able to see it. the blood will not go into his eye. Again, of course, how much it opens up. It opens up. Now, look at this. Up to defend him. 
himself. And Boom Boom Mancini has lifted the crown from Art Prius and has brought that world title to the Mancini family in Youngstown, Ohio. And his mission of winning the lightweight title that his father never won has been accomplished here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Aladdin Hotel today. There is bedlam in the ring, as you can see. There are many supporters here from Youngstown, and it looks like all of them from buses and trains and cars and planes have all jammed in to the ring. His father and mother are in there. There is Mrs. Ellen Mancini embracing her son, who has won this title. He failed to do against Alexis Arguello, getting his second chance. That's his father on the right of the screen with the glasses and the white hair and a weeping Ray Mancini has finally done what he had set out to do. He is 21 years of age. It took him 24 professional fights to accomplish winning this lightweight title. He's lost only once in his try for the WBC crown. Art Frias, who came from nowhere to win the crown from Claude Noel, defended it against Ernesto Espana, and like Mancini, a very personable, popular, likable young man, it was not his day-to-day -day against the buzzsaw attack of Ray Mancini. Ray told us in training, he said, you know, I really want to get to know Art Frias. I want to talk to him after the fight. He seems like such a nice guy, but he said, I can't do that until this fight is over. You saw the WBA belt, the title belt. There is Ray Mancini. We're going to be talking to him in a moment. There's his dad. Let's go back into the action in round one and see what happened there as we'll see the first knockdown with Mancini landing a big left hook and then a straight right hand, bringing it up from below, and that sent Frias to the canvas. Followed by a left hook, Tim. The left hook was the punch to put him down. Left hook, right hand, and then a left hook. Now, after Frias regained his feet, Richard Green, the referee, checks him out. But Mancini, with no let up, knowing he has Frias in trouble, comes right after him. Frias still trying to regain his balance and composure here, but Mancini taking him right to the rope skill. Yes, he's throwing those punches, Tim, one after the punches and bunches, one right after the other. He's not going to let up. And we're seeing it in slow motion, so as you Tim, know. that's five consecutive punches all on the button. Mancini, a good finisher. His 18th knockout, Richard Green taking a close look at it here. We'll step in shortly. Uh, again, just obviously it is in slow motion. It didn't quite take this long, but Frias will suddenly not be able to get those hands up in defense against this relentless attack from Mancini. Here comes referee Green looking into the eyes of the champion Frias. Mancini continues to wail away. Tim, he, he, must have, there. he must have thrown 50 punches, Tim. And Richard Green steps in. We're going to see that knockdown punch one more time. It was a left hook right to the ear that really kind of wobbled him. He's in trouble now, and he's wide open. Mancini misses on that right hand that I thought landed in the last replay, and then a solid left hook that you called, Gil, right again to the chin, uh, to the uh, cheekbone of the champion, Frias. Another solid left hand. That was the one that did it. So, Boom Boom Mancini winning the WBA lightweight championship here in Las Vegas. We're going to go up and chat with him momentarily. Right now, we'll take you back to our studios in New York and Brent Musburger. 